Uh, my name is Gleb Asetinsky and the film name is The Quantified Self. The short film The Quantified Self is a sci-fi story about the self-tracking uh, family that take the self-tracking to the next level. It becomes their religion um, and result of their daily activities, um, they find that these results become unquantifiable. Um, it's an interesting story about um, this um, isolated family that surround their um, house with uh, devices and they trust these devices more than themselves. Um, they, they track how they sleep, how they walk, um, what they eat, um, and uh, it really becomes their, um, their main activity, track, tracking their lives. And um, that's the film that basically explores it, what, what's happening with, the, with this family. I have a master's in physics and I was always interested how physics um, affect um, our perception of the world. We're basically building models uh, in order to explain what the world is. And sometimes these models, and belief in these models, um, actually supersedes the belief uh, in what the world in reality is. And um, this idea was kind of interesting to me all the time. I kind of explored it while being a scientist. Um, and, uh, you know, the model is something that we, we tend to build, but it's not necessarily what the world is about. And uh, when I encountered the quantified self movement, it's a large movement that has a lot of um, uh, members in it, in America and, and, and abroad. Um, there are people who basically take um, quantification measurements um, of their biorhythmics and, and um, they put these measurements in, into their lives and they're analyzing them. And it's, it's, it's they're measuring pretty much everything. And they, um, What's interesting about this movement is um, they, they take numbers and they try to analyze these numbers and they try to find the correlations between what these numbers mean and, and what they can discover through knowledge of these numbers. And they call it self-knowledge. And uh, I feel that this is an incredible movement because they're actually trying to see, they're trying to diagnose their health, they're trying to diagnose their life. And um, the idea when I when I thought about it, the idea occurred to me, my response to this was that what if someone takes this movement one step forward? What if, what if it becomes real obsession? What if someone actually takes this uh, quantifications and put it really, really in every corner of the life? And, um, uh, and I often bring this analogy in, into, um, in, into, um, into description of what I, I was thinking, you know, how, how this can actually change us we're often um, using a car, um, and, and we, 10 years ago, we never used GPSs. And basically, we, we kept our maps inside of our heads, and we were driving the car, and we kind of compared uh, the image in our, inside of our mind with, uh, with the location where we were. Now, these maps are completely, completely replaced with GPSs, and what GPS is, is, is a basically a blinking dot. You know, you set the starting point, you set the end point. And then you drive the car and you're basically following this blinking dot where it goes um, and you don't really have any um, real real realization of where you are spatially. And so if the blinking point disappears, you're completely lost. So, um, you know, in my film, I'm exploring the situation when this blinking dot is, is sort of like a GPS of life. And uh, this family is completely obsessed with... Um, making it perfect, following this dot from one point to another and uh, making sure that everything that they do doesn't fall apart uh, and doesn't fall away from, from that spatial, whatever it is, perfect world that they're building. And I found it very interesting because the, uh, if, if this becomes the next level, then we're kind of changing ourselves. We're becoming less in, in touch with who we really are, what, what human sides of us, our intuition, our emotions, our feelings, they're becoming very much dependent on, on, on these numbers, on these results, because we don't know how to feel, what to feel, how to be emotional uh, to certain things. And, um, you know, that's something that I was interested in to explore in this film. But um, I don't think there is, a, you know, attack towards this movement. I think. I think technology should not really, um, you know, we, 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 we're happy to have technology around. The technology helps us. It's just that somebody may be perhaps taking the technology in the wrong way and um, exploring um, how this actually improves the lives and how dependent we become from, 
from that. So that's the idea. When I'm thinking about this family, it's, um, it's a family that lives in the world surrounded by, by all these sensors, right? And um, um, it's, it's not that I wanted to create uh, anything different from this house. It's just that the, it's a house in the near future or the house where we live right now. Who knows what these people are? It's something that the audience need to think about. But there is a definite um, idea of um, make them feel as they are among us. And so this house can be our household. There is nothing special about um, the, the environment where they live, you know. And um, I, since I'm really interested to create other worlds environment, this kind of um, helped me to, you know, join um, modernistic look and very, you know, very clean um, um, look with something that is old and um, um, and uh, almost falling apart. So that's um, that's something to to think about how this all connecting. You know, it's kind of like a metaphorical idea of of how much um, uh, we move. Uh, actually, how much we stay the same if we have uh, technology in our hands, but we are still humans. There are still uh, parts of us that never change, and um, that's something to think about as well. So uh, you you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter is Glebski, um, G L E B S K I. That's my Twitter. Um, you can also find um, a website, The Quantified Self, um, The Quantified Self Film, I believe. It's a website that we built with a motor. We can put all updates, what's happening with the film and um, news that's coming our way. And then we also have the Facebook page, The Quantified Self uh, Film uh, or movie. I, I, I'm not sure quite so. But you, you can look, at us, look us up. We already have some sort of following going on. Please, please uh, join us everywhere where you can. <laughs>